Fitness to practice is um, a duty of the council to ensure that all uh, medical personnel, as well as students, who are registered under the council are fit to practice and offer services in the country. And they must, at all times, not have any impairment that interferes with their activities. To define impairment, impairment has got a very long uh, list attached to it but some of the obvious ones are things like persistent um, persistent uh, service or persistent uh, delivery of uh, services which are below standards, severe episodes of deliberate uh, or intentional, um, intentional acts which have got a negative impact on the profession, um, sexually improprietary, uh, dishonesty, uh, other issues like violence against colleagues and so forth. The list is long but I would urge all of you to go to the website you will find a full list of all those things that are likely to impair an individual and I would like to stress at this stage that impairment can be can come in all forms it's not just physical but it can come in also other forms as well.